All right, everybody, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour, we are going to be taking a look at uh, American pronunciation um, and how uh, how we uh, combine uh, combine words um, and also minimize words and, uh, and change some of some of the pronunciations when uh, when we uh, when we speak. Um, uh, the first uh, first week we did it, we took a look at the T sounds. Uh, pronouncing flap T's, uh, stop T's, and uh, normal normal T sound. Um, last week we looked at the H, uh, the H sound. Okay, uh, when we can drop the H's. Okay, in uh, in words as well as the TH. Okay, and this year, or sorry, not this year, but this uh, this hour, we're going to be taking a look at uh, kind of a, a host of words. This will be um, the uh, an. Okay, the words an, and, can. And then words that start with C O M and C O N. Okay, uh, all of them have uh, similar similar uses based on uh, based on when we stress the word and when we don't. Okay. Now I've uh, I've tried numerous times. I'm going to try again right now to upload the file into um, into uh, the Verbling system. But it uh, it hasn't been working. I haven't been able to do it uh, for a while now. So um, I I might not be able to get this to you until uh, until Verbling has their system fixed. Uh, if you do want it, okay, um, I can send uh, send the uh, the the document to you via uh, via Facebook. Okay, so you guys can you guys can write me an, an email on Facebook. Uh, I'll give you my email in uh, or the uh, my teacher, my teacher link in just one second. Uh, so if you do want the link, just send me an email and I can uh, forward the uh, forward the document over to you. Okay. Uh, so here is my my Facebook page. Okay, and uh, so I'm putting it in the Verbling chat as well as the Google chat. Okay. Uh, very good. So uh, let's see who we have so far. Uh, hi there, Tiago. How you doing? Hey, Chad. Doing great, man. And you? I'm doing well, thank you. Nice to have you here here in class. Thank you. How about Sergio? How you doing, Sergio? Sergio, can you hear me okay? Yeah, uh, no, okay. Uh, I'm okay, man. There we go. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you, man. Okay, how about uh, Luis? Good to see you, man. I said, nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. Welcome, welcome back to class. Thank you. All right. Let's see here. We also have uh, Mustaba. Probably need to wait until you can unmute yourself after just just joining. Okay. So, um, so again, uh, I I don't have the document. It looks like I'm trying right now, and it's not. It's not uploading into the system for me uh, still, so I can't uh, can't do anything about that. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want me to email you uh, the page we're going to look at, uh, send me an email uh, via Facebook, and and I can uh, pass it your way. All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. All right. It's my so, name. hey, Mojtaba, welcome. And thank you. Hi, hi again. Yeah. Um. So, um. Uh, select my my Facebook page and send me an email via Facebook, and I'll send. I can send the document to you uh, just through Facebook. That would, that would probably be the easiest instead of uh, via your email. Uh -huh, okay. Okay? Uh, okay. Very good. Okay, you guys. So let's uh, let's take a look here. All right. So, um, uh, in in English, okay, or the concept that we are we're going to be going over today is uh, reduction and minimization of words, and then also changing uh, changing the sounds. Okay. So, in in American English, we tend to reduce or minimize our words a great deal to make it easier to link words together. When I say linking words, it's when words sound like this. What are you going to get her for Christmas? 
Okay. Instead, instead of saying, what are you going to get her for Christmas? It's, what are you going to get her for Christmas? Okay. Mm -hmm. We shorten our words down. Okay. We replace sounds. We drop letters. Okay. And this is what we've been studying every Friday afternoon. Okay. Um, now, we also uh, change, change vowel sounds to the schwa sound um, if they are not or when they are not receiving the stress in the word or sentence. Okay, and uh, that that will be covered with w the words can um, and words starting with C O M and C O N. Okay, so the words and an and and we minimize to uh, to a certain sound, and we'll go over that in just one second. Okay, so that uh, it's those two principles that we're going to be looking at for this hour. Okay, with these particular words, there are more words that we do that do it with, uh, but uh, we're just going to be covering these these sounds today. All right, so let's take a look at uh, an and and. Okay, uh, let's go to Luis. Luis, let me have you read our rule for us, please. An and and rule. We minimize an and and to the sound n when it's in the sentence and it is not re receiving the stress or starting a phrase. This is not always the case. All right, so what I mean by the n sound or the n sound is n. Mm. Okay, mm. so when I pronounce that, you guys, my tongue goes so this is the top of my mouth. My tongue goes up to the top, and it stops. It's mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. So we, we replace the, the word an and and with n. Mm. Mm. Okay. And we do it really quick, right? So for example, let me let me read the examples here. Okay. This first one, she is stressed and tired. Okay, replacing that or minimizing that word would sound like this. She's stressed and tired. Mm. She's stressed and she's stressed and tired. She's stressed and stressed and she's stressed and tired. She's okay. Stressed and tired. All right. She's same. Okay. Same thing here. Now this is replacing and. Okay. But here we are going to replace an. Okay. In front of a verb or sorry a noun. Okay. So I can't believe. He wanted to give you an excuse for not coming into work today. Okay. And the other way would be, I can't believe he wanted to give you an excuse for not coming into work today. Give you, give you an, give you an excuse. Give you an, give you an, give you an excuse. Okay. So, uh, we do we do not pronounce those words all the way. Uh, we don't fully pronounce them. Usually they are n. Okay. Now, what I mean by this is not always the case. Okay. When it's starting a phrase, that's what I'm referring to. Uh, we can say, and what do you want? All right. And we really pronounce that. And. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I can, I can also say, um, and, and we're going to go over and have some ice cream. <laughs> okay. Mm. And we're going to go over and have some ice cream. Okay? So I'm starting that off with and. It's the beginning of a phrase. Right? Mm. And, I'm, and we're going to go over and do that. So it starts off with an mm. Okay? So it's not always the case when it's at the beginning of a sentence. Okay? Uh, now, let's, uh, let's take a look at the note here. And I believe that is... Uh, Mojtaba, let me have you uh, read the note yes. here, please. Okay. You don't always uh, have to pronounce. I can't. I can't see. I can't see uh, perfectly. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't always uh, have to pronounce the word like this. Uh, many people bounce uh, between uh, the different sounds whenever they want. We we usually give stress to this word in in this sentence when we are angry hello Moshaba okay when we're angry irritated or you 
We are asking for clarification. Asking for clarification. Okay. So, what uh, what I mean? What do I mean by uh, angry or irritated? Okay. If uh, if someone's asking for something, okay, you might hear this in in TV shows or in the movies, and they say and. Okay, and they really push into that word. Okay, they're asking that like a question. And what are you gonna do? And okay, and they really push into mm -hmm. it. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. that's being okay. angry or irritated. Um, mm -hmm. The other way would would be if you go wait what what did you say? An apple. Can you pass me an apple? An apple. Okay, and we really mm -hmm. push into that when we're clarifying something. Okay. Mm, okay. Now, okay, like okay. I mentioned, I, I you know. don't have to pronounce them like that. You can pronounce them the normal way. We'll understand you perfectly. Okay. But these lessons are used for two purposes: to if you are looking to have an American pronunciation, or just understand us. Okay. So once you understand the rules, it becomes easier to pick out the words that we say in the sentences. Okay. So. A lot of people uh, might bounce between the two. They don't always have to say it that way. Okay, uh, so that's the the word and in an. Okay, replacing it with n. Give you an excuse. Stressed and tired. Right. Okay. Um, the word can. All right. Let's go to Sama. Sama, how are you? Hello, teacher. How you doing? Is everything okay? Well, everything good today? Great. Yes. Fine. Okay. Great. Um, should, uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, what story? I don't see. Um, uh, they should. Uh, uh, you can't. You can't see the uh, the document here. Um, make sure to select uh, select my 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 picture here or my icon so that uh, so that you can um, uh, so that you can you can see it. Okay, I, I don't I, I don't have any other way of sharing it because the document won't upload in the verbling. It's very frustrating. All right, uh, let's go to Sergio. Um, Sergio, let me have you read the rule for can. Okay. Um. The, oh, okay, the word can can be changed to can uh, when a word and is not receiving the stress sentence. Okay, so yeah, when it's not receiving the stress um, in that should be in the sentence receiving the stress in the sentence. Sorry. Okay. Um, all right. So. Um, what that means, we can change can to can. Okay, this is what it sounds like. Can you tell me where the bank is? Can you tell me where the bank is? Can you? Can you tell me where the bank is? All right. Most of the time we don't say can. It usually comes out as can. Okay. Uh, the next one here. It never seems like he can go out anymore. It never seems like he can go out anymore. He can, he can go out. He can, he can go out. He can go out. Right? So can you can you tell? Can, can you tell out. me? He can go out. Right? So uh, we uh, we we do replace that quite often. Okay? We change the uh, the a sound there into a schwa. Uh, k, right? Um, Tiago, let me have you read the note here, please. Yeah. Um, just a sec. Oh, when can is ne negative, we do not change the a uh to a schwa. That would be a curse word, and you don't want to try to explain that one. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> curse word that I'm talking about. Okay. If we have the word can't. Okay, and we replace that with a <laughs> U, all of a sudden it becomes this word. Okay, yeah. and you don't want to say that, especially if you're talking to a woman. Okay, <laughs> so I didn't want to write it up there. Just remember, you 
do not switch. You do not switch that to an uh when you're when you're uh, saying the negative. Okay, of can. Okay, that will always be can't. Okay, we do not say that. Okay, that can be that can be very offensive, right? So, uh, just remember, with can't, we do not do that. With can, we do. All right. Okay. Um, let's go to uh, com, uh, com and con. Okay, uh, Luis. Yep. Uh, Luis, let me have you read the rule, please. Yeah, rule. When a word start starts with either can or can, we can change the vowel sound to schwa when that syllable is not being stressed. This doesn't apply in all cases. For example, company is pronounced the company and not ka company. Luis, are you there? Can you can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yep, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I my my internet has been going crazy all day long today, so I'm just checking. Okay. So All right. So uh, when it's not receiving the stress in the word, okay? Um, so it doesn't happen all the time because we say company, k company, all right? And the stress is at the beginning, okay? We don't say com, company. It's company, k company, all right? Now, the unfortunate thing is that these will need to be memorized. We don't have any rules for, for, these, rule, for these words, okay? So, for example, this is what I mean. I bought a new computer yesterday. Okay, this is what I'm saying. I bought a new computer yesterday. The stress is on the PU. Okay, so we say com computer. We do not pronounce that com computer. It's com computer. Okay, now here's the other way. Let's try and compromise. Notice the stress is at the very beginning of the word com. In that instance, I would say ah, ka, compromise. Let's try and compromise. Okay, so we have computer, stress is not at the beginning, and we have compromise, the stress is at the beginning. Okay, next one. Where does the story continue? Continue. Okay, the stress is not at the beginning, so I pronounce the C O N as kun, continue. Continue. Okay, where does the story continue? All right. Our next one uh, on the next page here. I've been contemplating. Okay, I've been contemplating my answer all day long. Okay, I've been con contemplating, contemplating. Stress is at the beginning. Now, um, for the exercises today, you guys. I wrote the words out in this uh, in this form, showing you where the stress is. It will be up to you, okay, to to uh, change the change the sound depending on what the uh, um, where the stress is falling. So I gave you an extra hint, okay, and uh, for the words that we have today, okay. So um, again, these have to be memorized as well, okay. It's it's not an easy task, okay, but that's how that's how we pronounce them. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, Mustafa, are you there? Uh, yes, but I okay. don't have uh, uh, the, the writing. I don't have paragraphs. Uh, you can you can't see what I have on the screen. Uh, no, no, I don't have. Okay, all right. Uh, let's go to Sergio. Uh, Sergio, let me have you uh, read this uh, this note down here, please. The note? Yes. Okay. Uh, there is no rule that states whether they're calm or they're calm. In a word, it's going to be stressed or not. They have to be memorized. I know that's not a very fun answer, but that's just how English is sometimes. It doesn't matter if one of those words it's at the beginning, middle, and or if we say them indiv individually. 
we can all, all, always change change that sound to a shore if it if it is if it if it is unstressed. Okay. All right. Very good. So, um, for example. If, uh, if this is stressed, I will always have to say contemplating. If not, it doesn't matter where continue is or if I just say continue. I can always reduce that to a schwa sound. Instead of saying con, continue, it's, it will always be continue, con, continue. Okay? So, uh, any questions before we get into the practices? No. No. Okay. Uh, uh, let's uh, e let's take a look. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me. Uh, yes. Um, uh, um, uh, why I don't have uh, the, the text? Uh, I I don't know. Um, everybody else uh, can see can see it on the on the screen, and I I don't know why you can't see it. Uh, on the screen, I yeah, yes. Uh, right now I see it. So I see that. But uh, when when a person um, speaks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so it's, let it's me hide. let me show you let me show you what you need to do. Okay. So when someone else uh, uh, the way to uh, um, take care of that. Okay. You have to follow follow my mouse here. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay. And it's going to get all crazy here in the middle. Don't pay attention to the middle. Okay. So do you see my mouse down here? Okay. I'm circling your your comment. You said why I don't have the text. You see that? Okay. 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 This here is me. And if I want, if I only want to look and see how how gorgeous Tiago is, I would okay. click on his picture, and you see how a blue box shows <laughs> okay. up. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then I would only see Tiago's picture the whole time. If I only want to look at Sergio, it would be the same thing. I click on it. So if you only want to see what I show, you click on my my box here. Okay, it'll put a blue box around there, and then you'll always see what the teacher or whoever it is that's uh, that's giving the, the class. Okay, you'll always see what they show up on the screen. Does that make but, sense? And uh, the, 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 this uh, icon that the right chat, see? Ah, yep, that's me. Okay, okay. so if you do that, uh, you'll see exactly what we have written on the what I have what I'm sharing with everybody. Does okay. that make sense? Okay, okay. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Tiago, you are up first. Okay, let me have uh, you right. try try the first two here, please. Mm -hmm. um, can you pass me an apple, please? Um, okay, try that second, second one. one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His cow. Oh, he's consistently late and always has an excuse. Okay. All right. So let's try this. So we want to minimize uh, can, okay, to mm -hmm. kun. Can you pass? Can you? Can you pass me? Can you pass me? Yeah. Can you pass me an apple? Mm. An apple. An apple. Can, can you can pass you pa me an apple, please? Can you pass me an apple, please? Yes, good. One more time. Can you pass me an apple, please? Can you pass me an apple, please? That's it. Okay. You see how that feels when you pronounce that that n like that? It's just an apple, an apple. Yes. Mm. Okay. Like it's stuck. Yeah, like it's stuck. Like you went, and you and you're almost about to say it, and you're like, ah, forget it, and you mm -hmm. go on to the next word, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So this one here, you're right. So kun consistently. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's right. consistently late. Try that. He's consistently late. Okay, now we have and right here as well as an. Okay, so uh -huh. he's consistently late and always has an excuse. Mm -hmm. He's consistently late. Sorry. He's consistently late and always has an excuse. Yes. Okay, one more time. He's consistently late and always has an excuse. He's consistently late and always has an in excuse. Okay, do the same thing with Anne. And always, and always. Mm -hmm. and always, all right. He's consistently late and always has an excuse. Yes. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Okay, nice job, Thank man. You. 
Okay, let's go to um, numbers three and four. <coughs> this is for Luis. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here you can take the comfortable blanket. Number four. Can you okay, tell me? Four. Can you tell me who the computer compu composer is? Sorry. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Nice job with can. And here, yes, we are going to say comfortable. Comfortable. So comfortable. Um, here, you can you can take the comfortable blanket. You can take the comfortable blanket. Yeah, comfortable. 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 Let me change this here. So comf comfort com comfortable. Com uh, yeah. Comfort comfort. Comfortable. 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 There you go. Yeah. Uh huh. I got it. Here, you can take the comfortable blanket. Here, you can take the comfortable blanket. Okay, good. Yeah, so we're minimizing here, and yeah. we are not doing that with come. Okay, so here, nice job. Can you tell me? Can you tell me who the come come composer can, is? Can you tell me who the composer is? There you go. Good. Nice Thank job. You. Very Thank good. You. Okay, let's go to Mojdava. Uh, numbers mm -hmm. five and six, please. Okay, number five. Uh, I've been working all morning and I can't see to fix my uh, connection. Okay, number six. Uh, number six. Uh, can, uh, can you explain that again? Can you explain that again? I'm confused. Confused. Okay. All right. Good. Now, um, nice job switching and here. So uh, all morning, nigh. Okay, so no. I've been I've been working all morning and I can't seem to fix my k connection. Okay, try try this line one okay. one more time. Here it's going to be k connection. Connection. Uh huh. Connection. So try try number five one more time. Uh, I've been working all morning and I can't seem to fix my con connection. Yes, good. And you you bounce you bounce through that really quick. Okay? So you don't want to spend hardly any time on the beginning of that word. You want to get to connection as fast as you can. Connect. Connection. Connect. Connection. Uh-huh. Just connection. like that. Okay. okay? Good. Connection. Now, even though can is at the beginning of a word, uh, the sentence, sorry. Um we uh we do pronounce that as kun. Can you explain that again? I'm confused. Can you explain that again? I'm confused. Yes, good. Can can you? Okay, can good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, nice. Let's go to Thank numbers you. seven and eight. No problem. Um, Sergio, numbers seven and eight, please. Okay, uh, number seven. I can't talk to him uh, tomorrow and explain the con the concept. The connect uh, no, wait. Um, I've, I've never been able to control and that they can be crazy. Okay. All right. Let's take a look here. So, I can talk. I can talk to him. Try that. I can talk to him. I can talk to him. Mm -hmm. Good. So, yeah, I'm bringing in things that we've learned from the other lessons as, as well, you guys. So, I'm dropping that H. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I can talk to him tomorrow. Try that, Sergio. I can talk to him Sergio. tomorrow. I can talk to him tomorrow. Okay, so I can talk to him tomorrow and explain mm, and explain the concept. I can't talk. I can talk to him tomorrow and explain the concept. Okay, mm, and explain and explain the concept. And explain the concept. There you go. So the stress is at the beginning here. Instead of concept, it's concept. Okay. Concept. So, yeah. So I can, I can talk to him tomorrow and explain the concept. I can't, I can't, I can't talk to him tomorrow and explain the concept. Okay. All right. Getting better. Let's try this next one here. So here, uh, we are going to say kun control instead of control. It's control, nape, nape, nape. 
control an ape. Okay? They can they can be crazy. Okay. They can be crazy. All right? So let's try this here. I've never been able to control an ape. I've never been able to control an ape. There you go. They can be crazy. They can be crazy. Good. One more time. They can be crazy. They they can be crazy. Okay. All right. Let's try the whole thing. I've never been able to control an ape. They can be crazy. I've never been I've never been able to control an ape to be crazy. Okay. They can be crazy. Try that last one one more time. They can yeah. be crazy. They can be crazy. They can be crazy. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Let's go to Tiago. Numbers nine and ten, please. All right. Um, she can play as long as she wants because we're not using the computer right now. Computer. All right, number 10. Uh, they're constantly playing their music loud, and I can't handle it anymore. Good. All right, so this last one was really good, okay? And I can't. Mm -hmm. And I can't handle it anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, try that one more time. Mm -hmm. And I can't handle it anymore. And I can't. Oh, sorry. And I can't handle it anymore. Okay. So what I'm also doing here, this is in my first lesson with the T's. This is going to be a flap T. Handle it anymore. So I'm going to change that to a D because this mm -hmm. word starts with a vowel. Handle it anymore. Handle it anymore. That's it. And I can't handle it anymore. All right. And I can't handle it anymore. Oh, damn it. And I can't <laughs> handle it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. That's good, man. Okay, let's try one more time. So uh, they're, con they're constantly playing the music loud, and I can't handle it anymore. Mm-hmm. They're constantly playing their music loud, and I can't play. And I can't handle it anymore. That's it. Okay, cool. All right. Thanks. Let's uh, let's try this this uh, one before. So she can she can play as long as she wants. She can she can play she as can. long as she wants. Try that. She can play as long as she wants. Okay, good. Because we're not using the k come computer right now because we're not using the computer right now because we're not using the computer right now all right yeah so it's come computer that m is really quiet computer you want to get to the p as fast as you can computer 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 come computer it's really quiet computer computer that's it because we're not using the computer right now because we're not using the computer right now. That's it. Okay, so try that. Try the whole. Uh, try all of number nine. Mm -hmm. She can play as long as she wants because we're not using the computer in right now. There you go. Good. Okay, nice job, man. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let's go to numbers eleven and twelve. Okay, this is for Luis. Yeah. <laughs> Number eleven. We need to find a convection where we can show off our new product and make some sales. Maximum number 12. Mm -hmm. He works as a contractor and can fix just about anything. Okay, all right. Now, that this is exactly why I put this word in here. Yeah. Um, because most people say contractor. Okay, yeah. the word is contractor. Contractor. Contractor, yeah, that's why I put these helps in there. I'm, uh, I want, I want to help out with these words. So he works as a contractor and can fix. So here, this is going to be and can, and can fix just about anything. Yeah, he works as a contractor and can fix just about anything. Okay, almost as a contractor. Contractor. Mm -hmm. He works he as a contractor and can fix just about anything. Okay, so switch and to n mm, can fix mm -hmm. just about anything. Mm -hmm. And can fix just about anything. Okay, so can sounds really good. And is n mm, mm, can. 
mm, Config. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and Config. I got it. Mm, he, mm, config just about mm, anything. Yeah, he worked as a contract in Config just about anything. Okay, very good. Let's um, take a look at this next yeah. one here. Yeah. So number eleven, uh, we need to find a con conven convention convention. We need to find a convention. Mm -hmm. convention. Where we can show where we can show off our new product. Where we can show off our new product. And make some sales. And make some sales. Ah, yeah. And make some sales. sales. That's it. And make some sales. And make some sales. Okay, yeah. so this this uh, sentence would be, we need to find a convention where we can show off our new product and make some sales. Yeah. Try that. We need to find a convention where we can where we can show off our new product and make some sales. All right, very good. You're coming along, Luis. <laughs> nice man. Very Thank good. You. Yeah, so uh, the idea with this, guys, is we're no longer looking at one word saying, this word is find. This find. word is we. We're not doing that. We're looking at the whole sentence like it's one word. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we kind of mix everything together. Okay? Yeah. And mm -hmm. there's certain parts of it, certain rules that you need to learn to be able to do that if you want to have this type of pronunciation or if you want to understand it. Okay, because if I were to say we need to find a convention where we can show off our product and make some sales, yeah, that's <laughs> my normal speed how I can talk. A lot of those wow. words are lost. <laughs> okay, they're lost in there. Okay, yeah. why? Because we minimize. Okay, we take uh, we take our D's. I don't pronounce my D's. Find find. Find. Okay. Find. okay? Need and two, those are combined. Okay, so we do a lot of these things. So this is this is why I'm doing doing these classes. Okay, in in can fix in can in can fix just can about fix. anything. Okay, it's crazy. We're we're absolutely can ridiculous, can but yeah, it's how we speak. Okay, uh, number number thirteen and fourteen. Mostaba, let's have, let's yes. have you try this. Yes, yes. Uh, number thirteen. I have an. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I have an exam this Friday. Can you help me study? And uh, number fourteen. Sorry, I can't. I just bought. Uh, I just bought an extremely expensive convert convertible and have to change the oil. Okay. All right. Very close. Very close. Let's try this. I have. Mm -hmm. I have an. I have an. Okay. So last I have last an, week. I have an exam. We, yeah, we talked about dropping our H's. We can do that with the word have. I have an mm -hmm. exam. I have an exam. Try that. I have an exam. I have an okay. exam. That's mm -hmm. great. I have an exam this Friday. I have an exam this Friday. Great. Can you, can you help me study? Can you help me study? Can you help me can study? You, can you help me study? Okay. Can you help me study? So you, uh, we're going to change it more to a little bit of a you, yeah, can you, can, can you help you, me study? You, can you help me study? Mm -hmm. Can you so, help me study? Go ahead and try all of number 13. Uh, I have an exam this Friday. Uh, can you help me study? Okay, good. All right, this next one. Sorry, I can't. Remember, we do not, we do not switch that to uh in can't, okay? Sorry, mm -hmm. I can't. I just bought... I can't. I just bought an extremely expensive. I just can't. bought an extremely expensive convertible. Uh, uh, I just I, ju I just bought uh, I just bought an extremely expensive convertible. Okay, I just bought an extremely. So go to that in n sound. I just, I just bought, bought an, an extremely. I just, mm -hmm. I just bought an extremely expensive convertible. Okay. And I have to go change. And I have to change the oil. And I have to change the oil. And I have to change the oil. Mm -hmm. The oil or the oil? The it, I usually say the. The. Yeah, I rarely say the unless I'm talking about a title. But mm -hmm. it's a. It really doesn't matter. Um, okay. It really doesn't matter. Um, and, yeah. Enough. Okay. 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 So let's uh, let's try this whole line. Sorry, I can't. I just bought an extremely expensive convertible, and I have to change the oil. 
uh, sorry I can I uh, sorry I can I just bought an extremely expensive convertible and I and and I have to change the oil good and I have to change the oil try that one more time and I have to change the oil good all right nice job very good <laughs> I think. Let's go to numbers 15 and 16. This is for Sergio. Yeah. Um, we can go to the movie tomorrow, and I, well, and I swear we'll have an awesome time. How, how can, you, can you deal with that? He hasn't contact. We, we, he hasn't contact you in five days okay all right so let's uh, let's go to 15 this was really good we can we can go to the movies tomorrow try that we can go to the movies tomorrow yeah we can go to the movies tomorrow we can go to the movies tomorrow yeah I would switch this T to a flat D sound go to the go to the we can go to the movies tomorrow we can go to the movies tomorrow. That's it. There you go, man. Okay. So we can go to the movies tomorrow, and I swear, and I swear we'll have an we'll have an awesome time. And I swear and I have awesome time. And an awesome time. Okay. And I swear we'll have an awesome time. And I swear we'll have an awesome time. That's it. Okay, so let's try that whole line. Okay, uh, we can go to the movies tomorrow, and I swear we'll have an awesome time. We can go to the movies. We can go to the movies tomorrow, and I swear we will have an awesome time. There you go. Okay, good. Next one. How can how can you deal with that? How can how you can, deal with that? How can you deal with that? Okay, he hasn't contacted you in five days. He has contact. In five days. Okay, so this is contacted, 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 contacted. He, he hasn't contacted you in five days. He has contacted you in five days. Okay, make sure to pronounce that. Uh, hasn't he hasn't contacted you in five days? He hasn't contacted you in five days. Good. So the whole thing. How can you deal with that? He hasn't contacted you in five days. How can you do that? He hasn't contacted you in five days. Okay, better. Nice job, uh, Sergio. Good. Okay, okay. cool. Let's go to numbers 17 and 18. Uh, Tiago? Yeah. Um, do, you know where, um, do you know where the new movie complex is? And can you tell me... Sorry. And... Can you tell me how to get there? Um, he has an interesting sorry. He has an interesting opinion about the new commodities. Okay. Commodities. All right. That would be commodities. Come on, commodities. Commodity. All right, commodities. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, let's start here on this last one. So he hasn't. So I'm gonna drop this H. In has mm -hmm. he has an he has an interesting he has an interesting opinion. He has an interesting opinion. Yeah, so we use that n to spring into the word interesting. He has an, an interesting opinion. He has an interesting opinion. Mm -hmm. He has an interesting mm -hmm. opinion about the new commodities. He he has an interesting opinion about the new commodities. There you Commodi go. There you go, commodities. He has an interesting opinion about the new commodities. He has an interesting opinion about the new commodities. There you go, good. Okay, next one here is uh, 17. Do you mm -hmm. know where the new movie complex is? So it's complex. Okay, mm -hmm. do you know where the new movie complex is? And can you, and can you tell me how to get there? And can you, all right. Do you know there are... Uh, do you know where the new movie complex is? And can you tell me um, how to get there? Okay. Now, this word is actually going to be com, complex. The com new movie complex. complexes, and can you tell me how to get there? 
the new movie complexes and can you tell me can you tell me how to get there mm -hmm. can you tell me how to get there and can you tell me how to get there that's it there you go okay cool man nice job can is that right can you can you can you can you tell me and can you tell me how to get there good mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Let's go to Luis, and uh, once uh, once we finish, we'll we'll go back to the beginning and work our way down until we have until our time runs out. Okay. Yeah. All right, Luis. Numbers nineteen and twenty, please. Yep, nineteen. She's completely ignored all of my requests to come in and meet with me. Twenty. Can we do pizza and ice cream tonight? I feel like celebrate my new commitment. There you go. Nice job, man. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Let's uh, let's roll through it. Let's see if we can tighten it up just a bit more, okay? Yeah. So, she is she is. So we're going to drop is. that h. She is completely. So, come, right? She's completely completely. She has completely ignored all of my requests to come in. So we're going to bounce here to come in and meet with her with me. To come in and meet with me. To come in and I hope to come in and meet with me. To come in and to come in and meet with me. To come in and meet with me. To okay, in. it's in and to come in and to come in and meet with me. There you go. To come in and meet with me. To come in and meet with me. All right, one more time. To come in and meet with me. To come in and meet with me. There you go. Okay. So yeah, that's a crazy one right there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. She is. She has completely ignored all of my requests to come in and meet with me. She's completely ignored all of my requests to come in and meet with me. There you go. There you go. Okay. Let's try this next one here. You started out great. Can we? Can we do pizza and ice cream? This one was great. Okay. That was. That one was perfect. Okay. Uh, here, I feel like celebrating my new commitment. Commit. Commitment. 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 There you go. Okay, so try this. Uh, try this one one more time, focusing on commitment. Can we do pizza and ice cream tonight? I feel like celebrate my new commitment. There you go. All right, beginning of that one again. Can we? Can we can do we? pizza and ice ice cream tonight? Can we do pizza and ice cream tonight? I feel there you like go. celebrate my new commitment. Good. Good. Okay. Nice job. So uh, any. Any questions? Any questions before we completely run out of time? No. Nope. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep working. Um, yep. Mochaba. Yes. Yes. I'm here. All right. So we're going back to numbers one and two here. Number one and two. Okay. okay. Go ahead and try that. Okay. And number one. Uh, can you pass an apple, please? Can you pass an apple, please? Can you pass me an apple, please? Uh, excuse me. Uh, can you p pass me an apple, please? There you go. Next one. Okay. Uh, here's constantly late and always has an excuse. He's okay, constantly this... late and, uh, and always has an excuse. Okay. Where's the stress in this word? Where's okay. the stress? Is it at, yes. You're saying constantly. You're putting the stress constantly. here. You're putting the stress here. The stress is right here. Consists. Consistently. Oh, okay, okay, excuse me. Consistently. 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 There you go. Mm -hmm. So he's consistently late and always has an excuse. He's consistently late and uh, uh, consistently late and always have an excuse. Has an excuse. Mm, consi okay. And always has an, ex has an excuse. Okay. And always has an excuse. Uh, always and, and and always has an excuse. And there you always go. has an excuse. Okay. Good. Let's try this. Uh, let's try this one here one more time. Can you can you pass me an apple, please? Can you pass me an apple, please? There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, three and four. This is for um, Sergio. Yep. Okay, uh, here we can take the comfortable bank. 
number. Can you? Oh, okay. Uh, can you tell me who's the compose is? Okay. So here, this would be here. You can take. You can. You can take the comfortable blanket. You can, you can take the comfortable blanket. You can take the comfortable blanket. Comfortable. You can take. You can, you take, can take the comfortable, the comfortable blanket. You can take the comfortable blank, comfortable blank. Yeah, that word is comfortable, 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 comfort, comfortable, comfortable. It's like uh, it's like saying the word soft, right? Where you have the F and the T together. Can you say that word? Soft. Soft. Okay, so it's the same thing. Comfort. Soft. Comfort. Soft. Uh, so yeah, say soft, soft. So let's uh, let's say this here. So I want you to say softerable, softerable, softerable. Uh huh. One more time, softerable, softerable. Okay. One more time, softerable, softerable. Okay. So now we're gonna say um, comfortable, comfortable. There you go. Comfortable. 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 Good. Yeah. So that uh, that F T you you can pronounce it in other words. Okay. So don't think of the spelling. The spelling is completely jacked up in this word. Okay. So the spelling means nothing uh, uh, concerning how we pronounce the word. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's try uh, let's try this one more one more time. We're gonna say you can. You can take the comfortable blanket. You can take the comfort comfortable blanket. Okay, all right. Getting getting better. Let's try this one again. So this is can you tell me who the composer is? So this is com composer. Can you tell me who the composer is? Can you tell me who the composer is? Good. Can you tell me who the composer is? Can you tell me who the composer is? All right, nice job. Very good, thank you. Okay, let's go to Luis. Yeah, number five. And uh, yeah, numbers five and six, please. Yeah, number five. I've been working all morning and I can't seem to fix my connection. Number six, can you explain that again? I'm confused. Okay, good, good. Let's uh, let's work on. And I can't, and I can't seem to fix my yeah. connection. And I can't seem to fix my connection. Okay, instead of and, mm, and I can't. Mm, I, and I can't seem to fix my connection. There you go, good. Okay. Okay, one more time, we're going to say, I've been working all morning, uh, sorry, I've been working all morning, and I can't seem to fix my connection. I've been working all morning, and I can't. Sing, oh, excuse me. I've been working Omar and I can. No, no, no. I've been working Omar and I can't seem to fix my connection. Okay, very good. Yeah. Next here is. Can you can you can you explain can you, that again? Can you explain that again? Good. Can you explain that again? I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, let's do uh, one more. Uh, seven and eight. Mojtaba, let me have you try yes. this, please. Yes. Uh, number seven. Uh, uh, I can hear clearly. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. On one moment. Okay. Uh, I can talk to him tomorrow and uh, and ex and explain the concept. Excuse me. One more time. Uh, I I can talk to him tomorrow and uh, and explain the concept. Good. Next okay. one. Number eight. Uh, I've never been able to contro control an app. They can be crazy. Okay. They can be crazy. Yeah, they they can they can be crazy. They can be crazy. Okay, good. They Let's try this crazy. one. Let's try from here. So to control an ape. So this is going to be n mm, ape. To control an ape. Good. Contro to control an ape. To control an ape. To control an ape. That's awesome. Okay, so it's I've never been able to control an ape. They can be crazy. 
I've never been able to control an ape. They uh, they can be crazy. They can be crazy. They can. There you go. They can be crazy. All right. Great job, you guys. Well, uh, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, for uh, coming into class. Uh, when I hear you guys practicing, it makes me smile, especially when you're able to able to say it. I'm like. Yes, it sounds it sounds really it sounds really good. You guys are coming yeah. along with the with those uh, pronunciations. If you do want the uh, this uh, sheet, okay, that I yeah. that I've made up, uh, shoot me an email on uh, on Facebook. Let me give you my Facebook one more time. Okay, mm -hmm. um, and just say, hey, uh, I want the uh, I want the American pronunciations document, okay? And I'll uh, I'll uh, I don't know why it's not going through here. Try one more time. Anyway, um, yeah, sorry, I don't, I don't know what's, what's happening. I don't know why it's not going through. But um, yeah, just let me know if you want it or not. It does, it, and don't send me anything. Uh, that's okay. Uh, even if you're out there in listening land, okay, and you want the, uh, you want the document, shoot me an email uh, just on my Facebook, and I'll, and I'll send it over to you as soon as I can. Okay. All right, guys. Nice job. Thank you. Uh, next up is a speaking class. We'll be uh, talking about celebrities and just uh, yeah. talking. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll see ya. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot.